it is man it is what it is man so yeah man obviously let's recap that game as well because let me actually see my actual thoughts as well more post game thoughts because obviously i write notes when the game is going down as well in fact let's change that to 40. so yeah man we just have to go again like just go again as i said obviously my ending thoughts would be again you knew against united the counter attack the transition we let ourselves down on the transition High line, centre-backs too far apart, midfield in la-la land, giving the ball away in consistent areas where it's shaky. There was times where we, there was moments that weren't capitalised. I do feel we could have scored a, a bit more. I do feel we could have asked more problems. I don't think our, generally our quality in the final third weren't really there. Clearly not, because we only got one goal where we should have had a couple more. Too many gaps, too much naivety from the players and I'd say tactically from Arteta, falling asleep on the counter, conceding the same goal self imploding we played we you know we made something up we played football in stages but football's a 90 minute game you don't play well for 10 or 15 and whatnot you earn the right to win you play your percentages so yeah i don't think we reacted to situations i think we showed that this team still has a lot of limitations if i'm honest yeah, i'm going back into my half time thoughts once again i don't feel we're creating clear cut chances we're creating effort for gabriel jesus too many gaps in the team my centre backs are, are 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 nearer the goals, you know. Saliba and Gabriel are having efforts, and I'm counting it on one hand. United struggle to keep clean sheets. Ask questions. Both teams are quite similar. They had some shots. They scored three goals. We didn't do that. Maybe are you know really we're relying on the same players again. You know, big up Martinelli, big up Gabriel Jesus in particular for me. I think them two were good. If I'm honest with you, Saka, lovely to see you scored. You know. For parts, I thought Lekong was doing okay, but yeah, he shies away from the ball. He's quite limited. I, I don't see you becoming the eight. I think Arsenal need cut from that sort of ilk. I can't right now. You don't look able to play in a six. Once again, you know, games away from home where United's former are doing well. The managers getting stuff. The fans them are making noise. You need to have midfielders that want the ball and can win fouls and try and relieve pressure, just like they had with Ericsson there. We didn't have that. We don't have that. And this is the this is the trouble, really and truly. And for Arteta, sometimes I think you can be kind of rigid in your thinking. Fair enough for the first five games prior to today was we won, you know. And obviously, if you changed and done any of the changes the fans then want, probably, you know, and we still lose, you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I think there's a bit of naiveties, but at the same time, injuries have forced your hand, even though we've just come out of the transfer market and we have seen this game played before. As I said, final third is things are breaking down. United players are getting away with murder for some of these yellow. How they don't, how Bektobe they got 70 minutes and he never got a yellow. We need players like that, not like Bektobe Day, but that nastiness, really and truly. So, yeah, it is well, it is, man. At times, I don't think we knew if we wanted to, to stick or twist. At half time, we had eight shots, one on target, and three corners. They had no corners, three shots on target, and five shots. So they're doing a slightly better in terms of shooting than that. 55 to their 45. They've got the one thing that matters. So we're not for the for the things that we can control, we're not controlling them. I would say the worst part of the game for me, apart from the naiveties we showed in the second half and threw it really away. I think it was the first 10 minutes. I looked like you know, United looked like they were on it. You know, we had 24 hours extra day recovery. Yes, we had to travel, but yeah, man. Like we look, I thought we might be in trouble. It was a bit of a culture shock based on these five games for these players because you know we we had every man in every man in our half. You know, United had their centre backs on the ball. They were you know they were trying to do things. First ten minutes, we had fifteen percent of the ball. We did grow in possession and stuff, and we did have two chances off the break. Really and truly, you know, I remember one vivid moment. I can't remember who kicked it. It might have been Gabriel. I could be wrong. But Jesus has as as ran and Lissandro Martinez has fouled him. Don't know. Never got a yellow for that. But there was a bit of a culture shock seeing less of the ball. And pardon me, as I said, when you lose, don't get too excited. When you win, don't get too excited. You know, the players have to keep a level head in this. If there is any overconfidence, if there is any players that think we've achieved something. I mean, the gaffer sits there all the time and says we've we've achieved nothing, which we haven't. We've got five wins on the board. So, yeah, man, it is what it is for United. Beat Arsenal, beat Liverpool, you know, grinded out at least two other more results. That's three, four wins on the spin. As I said, this is why you don't draw conclusions in football. The conclusions that could be drawn on these five or so games are ridiculous. Because if United go and win the next six after their, their shocky start, what happens? We go and lose our next five. What happens? And I've said this all before. Some of you claim you're football fans and watch the Premier League year in, year out. And it, you, you say the same. It's like you look, the, the league ends in May and then you come back in August and you forget everything. Like, I don't know what it is, but shout out you lot. But 
disappointing, mostly beyond the obvious that we that we lost. Self imploded, you know, got yourself back in the game. As I said last year, you took the lead, you didn't win. This year, you came from behind. At one point, you had one hand on a point. A point at Old Trafford. Some might say it's disappointing because they might feel United could have been beaten today or just they're not United they used to. But for me, a point you can live to breathe. Especially if you haven't been playing well, you focus on Everton, but that's where we're at, man. You know, that that is that is where we're at, folks. So yeah, man. Obviously, win, lose, or draw is fantastic being here with you lot, man. Big up DG, the naivety trickles down from the owner's recruitment and the manager. Never are we on the proactive side, always reacting to the circumstances. Man, you were there for the taking. I mean, on top of that as well, Ten Hag is winning. I don't know why. I don't know if there's injury. I don't know if they had minutes in the legs, but he's winning. And fair enough, it was before the three goals came in and Rashford played everywhere, really. Left, right, centre. He's making changes before us. We're, I know Tommy Asu is kind of slow getting him back, but we're bringing on Tommy Asu maybe to kind of help us defend and keep the scoreline more respectable than it is already, even though I even though I don't think it is. But it don't make like Tommy Asu is not a goal scorer. It's not going to help us really and truly. So yeah, man, United did their thing. We didn't do ours. Simple as that, man. It was a dog fight, and at times we were on it. At times we pussied away from it. So, yeah, Saka, Mr. Sitter, all the guard, Mr. Sitter. Well, we go again, man. No, Sam B. Odegaard doesn't always put in 10 10 performances against top size. It's always the lower end. Zini ain't a left back for this game, maybe bottom half, but not but not Tierney is a, is a season jewels, man. And someone betted their someone betted their 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 whole count on of their whole Twitch points on, on Arsenal, boy. He's just coming like a like a clone. Nah, you're being harsh, man. He's just was a threat. What service did he have? He's just is actually a problem. He gave problems to Lasandro to Varane. They won the battle ultimately. He didn't score, and we can run bants. But if you understand football, the centre backs had a great game at United. Jesus had Defo had a good game. Like apart from being involved in losing the ball, like he's not. No matter what, you need to give the guy some fucking service. Like Jesus is trying to cross the ball, and he he almost put one delicious uh, uh knock into the path. Of a of Eddie and Ketty on. I'm happy with Jesus, but three four man can't be on it. Martinelli on it. Saka had a little period in the second half. He woke up and he was, you know, he scored and he was getting past Melanza and that. Odegaard the same, but we can't afford that. Man, need to be there for the Vulcan 90 minutes. Martinelli's my guy, and I love him. And he should have had a goal. Really, I'm gonna start saying that now, but it gets a bit one trick pony esque. Zinchenko tried, but defensively, you know the risk you're taking. Saliba and Gabriel were set up to fail, really, but we're moving mad. Xhaka didn't really do nothing today. They tried a thing, but they didn't really do nothing. For me, if it's not really Martinelli and, and, and Gabriel Jesus and Saka, the fact Saka scored, it's a myth. And it's really just the two Brazilian youths, really. Like, other than that, we're all over the shop, you know. He had to go to Old Trafford with guys that are not naive. And as much as I like Ben White, he is naive defensively. Naive defending, but defending starts from the front, man. I told you something wasn't right, DG. Five out of five, false economy. Thing is, you needed a midfield in the transfer market. Clearly see that in the away games. Sambi needs a year and a long way. He could develop. What are you saying, Marseille? Very poor goals. But I said this. It's different, but Gabriel brain fart against Fulham. The goals we conceded against Leicester, where we, it weren't like today. We weren't really tested. And forget the goals, the brain farts before that. The moments against Crystal Palace. They're there. Like, they're there. And as Arteta said, 10 to 12 games is what we really start seeing what we're on. As I said, I just care about making it till, 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 till December, January, you know. Five wins and an and a L. Lost to United. Not happy, but I'll take that. You've done everything else you need to do, but it's crucially about the reaction. React, 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 react. You know, the best fit when you're playing and we're winning like like before today, you just and like United are going through right now, you just want to keep playing, keep playing, right off the momentum. When you lose, the best thing is you want the next game. So Thursday we go, forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm sure Champions League is back next week. I, I might be capital, I'm sure it's back. So if it's back, we've got Europa League on Thursday and then we've got Everton on, it must be on Sunday, it can't be on Saturday, can it? It must be on Sunday. So, yeah, fam. It's, it's, it's one of them ones, really. 
I don't think we were as sloppy in other games as in this game. Felt like the players were playing as individuals. Yeah, we have been. It's just highlighted a bit more because it's Man United. We definitely have been. We were the better team. We were the better team today. United played well. They were good. Ericsson was great for sure. Arsenal, big up dark side, rum punch. I can't lie. Where's my thing? They were the better team. I hear that, but did not win, bro. <laughs> you're, United, you're a United fan, rum punch. I'm an Arsenal fan, you know. How many times did the Invincibles and any Sir Alex Ferguson team play very well and win games? But how much times did you just get it done? City ain't by city standards this season, they've been amazing at times, but there's been a couple of slugfests. Just get it done, you know. It's crazy, man. And our defense again, focus, you know, focus. And I, I have you know, focusing at the start, reacting to when we conceded, when we got ourselves back in the game. I would actually say when the game's been undone, it's 3 1. It could, it could have been worse, and I'm exaggerating a bit, but it could have been worse. Game management, we're gonna be our best friend or our worst enemies this season, as I keep saying. But I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I don't think. That, we should be negative and all that. We lost the game. We go again. I'm not saying we're going to do a madness this season, but yeah, man, we move, man. We hold our licks and we go again, man. Fabio Valera looked all right. For the first goal, why is Gabriel committed to that challenge? I don't know what he's on, bro. I don't know what Gabriel's on, but the whole t shape of the team is appalling. Indeed, today. Hands up if you got three points this week. <laughs> Big up you lot, man. United have no tactical cohesion going forward, just hitting on the count. Bit harsh, I saw, saw that. Can't say I didn't see that today, man. Smoked ourselves, blood. It's crazy, man. Saka missing, he scored, mate. <laughs> I don't know about that. What do you want me to say about the ref, bro? What do you want me to say? You know the Premier League refs are shit. What do you want me to say about the refs? Some of these decisions that were given for or against Arsenal or United are going to be given in other games and we're going to be talking about. What do you want me to say about the ref, cuz? Uh, control the variables you can. Okay, we scored that. We scored that. We scored a goal and it was disallowed, but we're going to act like. It was in a classic case of football in that first 10, whenever that goal was scored, the 10-minute passage, are we not going to act like United weren't fully onto us? And we did typically what happens in football. One break, which was lit, and we scored. Go back to rewriting the live stream. You heard me say, OK, now let's wake up, you know. So, again, we can focus on that flashpoint, but take that away. Can Did we address every variable? Did we, everything we can control, did we do that today? Did we do that at any period? In patches, maybe. So you lot can talk about the ref can do your thing i'd rather focus on what we can do and that's flipping being i've been through it in it like first half you weren't watching of course i'm gonna watch it top blue no i blocked you for i blocked you because you keep you know i'm not a united fan you keep telling me about bruno what are you talking about karma you must be about five years old what karma i don't understand this we have to hold that man surprised you kept your top on fair play what are you saying em you want to see man in the top hey man carnival season's over man You're gonna have to allow me with that one bro <laughs> I told you every United fan will put you man in a split. Every United fan taking a talk. Smoking kills, man. No, I told you not to put all your channel points. Respect DG for keeping it 100. Odegaard's amazing, but luxury player. It's not a trenches thing, man. Bro, I don't... Listen, don't bring that to my channel, please. I don't know about none of that, because... Don't bring that foolishness. Well, see, lots in. Can't expect to go the whole season unbeaten. Every team takes W's and L's. It is what it is. Time to move on. I'm not focusing on the ref, man. He does need to finish it. I can't lie. You might as well just play more. At this moment, it has to be Xhaka or the guard was in Chenko. The Sambi thing. Again, long term, playing games like this is only going to help him. But again, when you remove that long term and you think about the quest to get Premier League or Champions League football from this Premier League fixture calendar, this. Is that the right thing? 
I do think there's a bit of scapegoat with Arsenal fans, a bit of scapegoat going in with Lukonga. Like, I don't think he's the single reason we got anything or didn't get anything, but it's an issue. And for look, what I will say in Lukonga, sometimes, as much as I blame the players, bro, why are we in a situation where the, these men are going in, no matter where United or Arsenal are, that's a big game. Why are these tried and tested, tried and untested dons in the team? And I know he has to get experience, but we saw last season, Lukonga is not ready for these away games. If you're going to watch any game, Go and watch Brighton away where we were lucky not to lose last season. And that was an introduction for Tommy Asu and Lukonga. Trust. Rate you as well, DG. You didn't rub yourself out in the build-up to this game, calling it out as it is. Because that's the only way football is, bro. I don't know about anyone else, people. I don't want to like I don't want to go to bed feeling like a dickhead. What do you mean the ref the ref divisions don't matter? What are you talking about? What what's ref divisions? You're typing, David. We all know referee corruption is bad, but we can't change it. So let's deal with the factors. Okay, move away the rest foolishness. Did we do enough to win today? No, because we didn't take our chances. We didn't start the game well. We conceded the same sort of goal. What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> we had 30. We really think last season, out of 38 games, referees are the reason we never got top four. I wish ignorance was... I wish, you know, ignorance really is bliss. I wish I fought like you, man. You must have an easier life, man. Don't take your anger out on me, you know. Take your anger out on Arsenal. Or, well, you don't get... So, I know you, you can't do the frustration thing elsewhere. Just have a... Go and breathe, bro. At the end of the day, the only... if We've just lost a game, bro. It And it hurts me more than anyone, but we've just lost a game. It's football. Calm down, mate. Go have a cigarette. Go have a beer. You might have had one too many. Just sleep, bro. Relax, fam. Relax, big up G1 in the cut. Nice to see you don't run when your team win. Same goal. And I can't blame United. They knew that we're naive. And again, that them transition things were there against Fulham. They're only going to be highlighted because we because we um thingy. Because it's obviously a bigger game. People are not watching us, man. EG, I'm downhearted. Don't know what to expect for the entire season. Take every game as it comes. I don't know, man. Because again, football is an emotional game. If that's what you want to get. To tell yourself is what it is. You never learning curve for Saliba. To be fair, it weren't bad. We are Arsenal. We are gonna win the league. Every Arsenal fan, please stop lying. Like run the bands, but stop lying. Stop, stop like Don't start lying. Don't lie to me. You never. If I never said it, I don't want to hear it, fam. Oh no, we're gonna have to react. The Congress is definitely getting scared. I mean, at the same time, uh, some of these players, I'll be real, you know, so I'm seeing a lot of you. It is where it is. So I'll be real. I've seen a lot of you here. I, I have no energy to criticise players. Some of these guys that aren't good enough or not good enough or whatever, because we've seen the story. Like, At some point, it's going to get boring, bro. Like, how can I keep getting mad at the same dons that I know are not cut up to task for certain things or a limited squad that's going to show me good periods and then others? No, this guy's just on a weird trolling thing, man. You could say that. Baby thing, man. We are low key gonna beat a couple big six teams. You already beat a couple, you know, and you should have confidence. To be fair, didn't you do that last year? You beat us last year. You beat us. You definitely beat someone else last year. You definitely beat someone else. You definitely beat someone else. I mean, I wonder if it's gonna be like last year for Arsenal, where we beat United, lose to United, beat Spurs, lose Spurs, beat Chelsea, lose Chelsea. It's crazy, man. go again next week we're gonna get losses it's just how we bounce back from it this season we had good moments and bad moments today but there's a lot we need to fix in midfield there's nothing gonna fix bro there's a whoa, whoa, whoa. there's nothing that can be fixed there's a little couple solutions you can do in the team but what can be fixed bro what, what can be fixed there's nothing you can fix until january everyone's like a couple like last what a couple of days ago, everyone's like don't worry man we've got enough until january it's like double figure games until then like we I hope we pattern a midfielder in January, but that's of no consolation to me. There's bare football to be played. So, yeah, pardon me. August was dreaming. September started as a madness, but yeah, man. <laughs> you got to love the agendas that come out of the woodworks, man. 
Hey, really, Ren, leave my phone alone, bro. Thoughts on other guard? A uh, little 10, 20 minute passage when we scored, and we was looking all right. He showed up, but other than that, the only time I saw you is at half time, really just moaning with the ref, man. See cute little flicks and tricks and these things at times. But like, I love other guard as a footballer. I think he's an amazing footballer. I think his IQ is high and all of them things. But I, I, I don't have you as a trench baby. Them games there, you're a luxury. If you show up calm but i don't want to say i'm relying on these lot fiera looked okay did more than others in his little thing but that's about it other guy don't know what a shot is bro so what can you do man what can you do bro you just have to move man stick and move stick and move stick and move man boy 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 but yeah man i'm gonna watch the game again Win, lose, or draw. you got to watch the game, man. We are still sticking together. You know, we don't need to bury our heads in the sand in positive land or negative land. I want to firmly see what's in front of me. There are a lot of good positives. There's a lot of things developing, but there's still a lot of concerns. Simple as that. Now, that's one thing I rate about you lot, because I know you lot are going to get your so 